Hey guys, since the egg hunt is coming to a close, I guess I can finally give my opinion on the Roblox Egg Hunt 2020, so not everybody liked this year's egg hunt and I don't blame them, I hated it too, it sucked, I know 2019 wasn't so good either, but at least they had something like a hub, which we don't have this year, I don't know how Roblox could have forgotten about that. But I'm not going to worry too much about that because we got more stuff to talk about, like how this all started. So during the Roblox Bloxy Awards, while everyone was watching, Roblox released this trailer for the Roblox Egg Hunt. I remember kids were spamming all crazy. Everyone was excited. Roblox announced on Twitter that the Egg Hunt for 2020 will start on the 7th of April, and will end around the 27th. I forgot. So while everyone was waiting, Roblox was releasing, leaking eggs, Shaq even did his own if you wanna check that out, everything seemed to be getting good, so on April 5th of 2020, I got notified on Twitter around 2.45am, saying that some of the Roblox games are starting the egg hunt and I was like, what is this, I'm pretty sure Roblox said that the egg hunt will start on the 7th, not the 5th people like Creecraft and other people was confused on why some of the games were starting the egg hunt so early, until Roblox announced that it was only for testing to see if the games work for the egg hunt, and boy they should look more into this because the games that were picked for this year's egg hunt wasn't such good choice, two of the games was trying to make a profit out of this event, if you're playing tiny tanks, and you find yourself getting mad. You can buy the game pass for 50 robux, you don't have to wait, you can get it much faster. Also Tiny Tanks wasn't available for mobile, so anyone who played Tink Tanks 1 mobile pretty much got it for free. I don't know too much about the other game, Travel Egg Ventures, but people was mad at 2 for some reason. Some games were criticized for the quest for being too long, too easy, unnecessarily cutscenes being longer than they need to be unskippable dialogue that takes a long time which prevents progressing until it finishes scrolling, walking simulators, intermissions and round based games taking excessively long amounts of time, extremely well hidden objects for fetch quests, and other forms of stretching out egg hunting in an attempt at getting people to play for longer, players had to buy VIP because, the game they played, the eggs took too long to get, Minery, Royal High. The Wild West, Sinking Ship Roblox Britannic, Robot Incorporated, and Venture Land have been observed to lag immensely on low-end devices, which has resulted in frustration from players. I hated this game, flop, the mechanics was getting me frustrated, so unbelieving hard to control, and I'm pretty sure everyone will agree with me on this. There were also complaints about the lag in locating an unclaimed egg. Games that had portals in it didn't function how it was supposed to. It was due to the narrator not saying anything when the key card was picked up, resulting in the player having to restart the entire quest over again, which got gotten people really angry. So yeah, people criticize these games for being bad, not working too well, too long to get the egg, like bad business, and for being unplayable. Only 4 games wasn't playable on PC one of them of tiny tanks and here are the three other games so we are at the end of our video and i'm going to give my conclusion this year's egg hunt sucked i was very disappointing from what i saw roblox said they were going to have spy stuff but none of the game had nothing to do with spy matter of fact none of the game literally had to nothing to do with the egg hunt like bad business and simulator games i was getting really frustrated at the game that's why I gave up on the event, when I couldn't get a B swarm egg, no lobby for this year's egg hunt, so you'll have to scroll to find all the games, and yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys not want I'm going to say now, so I'm just going to end the video here, so thanks for watching, that's all.